Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. I offer information to all who heed. If a recuperation is your very first need, invest several dollars for peace and rest. Come to Shannon's place and be our guest. We've a reasonable hotel right on the bay. Feature seafood marinated and filet. If keeping stomach happy you should chance to tire, just step to the beach with a boat for hire. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey, that's a neat pitch for a hotel if I ever heard one, Shannon. Where'd you find King Moses? In a gin rummy game in Port au Prince, a knocked with three. This is a new version of it, Joe. The last time Slate told it, he was sitting on the beach and a bottle washed up on the shore. He pulled out the cork and there was King Moses. You were a lot smaller then, weren't you, King? Oh, yes, Miss Taylor. I've grown. Who put you in the bottle in the first place? The wind. I was sitting there playing my guitar, and a hurricane came up. There just happened to be a bottle lying around. Yeah, well, the way it really happened, Joe, was that... I'll settle for the last one, Shannon. Now, what about it? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I admit it appeals to me, but diving for sunken treasure isn't exactly the way I want to make my way in life. Well, he's not asking you to dive for anything, Slate. He just wants to use your boat. Isn't that right, Joe? Sure. I'll do the diving, your boat, your equipment. We'll split whatever we find down the middle. My equipment? I haven't had a diving suit since I lived in Hawaii. And that was the time when all the beach boys who dived for quarters almost starved. Slate stood on the bottom of the ocean in his diving suit and a large tin cup. That's where I met Mr. Slate. <laughs> That's right. King Moses was making change. May I say something? Oh, please do. I know where the bark Hespides is. An old slaving ship returning from the Carolinas with gold. It sank. I know where it sank. Where? I've listened a lot, and I've got me a lot of old charts. I can draw an X on a map of the Caribbean, and that's where the Hespides is. The lady asked you where. Look. Off here, the smallest island on Portuguese Key. This reef we use as a mooring. Get a bow hawser on the reef point. Shall I go on? Yeah, I like it. Back off 300 feet, drop a stern anchor, and we're secure. Then climb into a suit and jump down. Just 20 fathoms down and gold. Seeing you this way, Danny, talking to the seagulls, feeding them... One could think you were a man of kindness. Yeah, I would one, though. You bring a stale off of bread like I told you? See? Here. Break it up in little pieces for me, Filippo. <laughs> so it would be tempting to their digestive juices? Just chock full of cute sayings, aren't you? Now give it to me. Here, pretties. Feed your ugly faces. <laughs> That's it. Fight for it, you feathered beasties. Fight for it. <laughs> Look at them, Filippo. Cute, aren't they? Because they are hungry? Happens to all of us. Soon maybe you have flaky pastries to feed your birds. They might kill each other for them. You'll like that, huh, Danny? Yeah, I'll like. How are we doing with that part of it? I'll follow this Joe Cowan like a straight dog. Into alleys, into gutters. Had fun, huh? He talks much of the sunken ship Hespides. Of the gold that lies in a rotting hulk for fishes to nibble on. But when I stroke his ear and whisper where... You kick me and laugh. Because you're a stray dog, Filippo. I once was of dignity. I, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. You were a big man in the deep-sea diving set. But you got the bends. Your lungs got tired. You're a cripple, Filippo. A cripple with an itching palm. And you are a prize to be dishonorably discharged from the Navy? To gloat over hungry birds? That's why all that gold cries out to us. Because we're cripples, you and me. We're not doing so good, huh, Filippo? We're doing excellent. 
Only in the last hour, Cowan went into the hotel of Shannon. I think to hire Shannon's boat. I think to hire Shannon, because he needs such things to gorge himself on what is in the Hespides. Well, what do you know about that? Eh. Now maybe we can stroke Shannon's ear a little. Hand me some more of that bread, Filippo. I feel kindly toward things. Eh. Chow time, please. <laughs> And now, Mr. Shannon, for buying all this equipment from me, may I congratulate you? Go right ahead. I congratulate you. I think he's got something else on his mind, Slade. See, si. Now, what can it be? Is it possible? No. It is, senor, a feeling that you have forgotten something. I don't see what. I've got the compressor, the lines, the diving suit. Everything. See, si, which means that now I have no compressor, no lines, no diving suit. Is that fair, I ask myself? Something's awry, huh, Chico? See, si, now it comes. Alagazam! You have not paid me. Oh, we've done business before. Put it on the cuff. But, senor, I cannot open the cash register. It is so stuffed with cuffs. White cuffs, pink cuffs. I'll tell you what. I listen. If I make any money out of this trip, I'll give you ten percent. This is a modern way of payment? Only squares use money. Think of what you can do with ten percent. I need some caulking compound, amigo. Oh, see, your cock is my command. <laughs> it is in the back room. I will fetch it. My, what a lot of equipment you got, mister. Going diving? Uh-huh. Diving for what? Boiled shrimp. With hot sauce. Just asking. My, my, look at that. Real honest to Betsy Deep Sea stuff. What are you looking for, mate, Gold? Slate, he's pinching the diving suit. Mother told me there'd be men like that. You got a yen for diving gear, Buster? For gold, huh? Lucky people. Need a hand? Uh-uh. For sunken gold. I'm nosy, curious, a dreamer. Tell me where so I can dream about it. Tell me. Back up, friend. Just whisper it. Come on. Come on, tell me or I'll... Dream about it, Buster. Is that gentleman lying there, what we call a gentleman with gold fever slate? Senor, senor, here's the compound for cocky. Yay! What you do lying on the floor? He's got a split seam, Chico. Cock him. Let's go, sailor. What's the etiquette, sailor? How long does one wait for a tardy deep-sea diver? How should I know? I've never been stood up by a man who wears a bubble on his head. Now you have. How does it feel? I feel like a girl with an empty deep-sea diving suit and nobody to shove into it. That's how. You and me. We're wallflowers, sailor. We've been invited to a dance and nobody wants to waltz with us. You'll show, Slate. If I know anything about men who get their kicks out of pacing the ocean floor looking for gold... You know, when I was a kid, I used to tickle my feet with dreams like this. Gold in a sunken ship at the bottom of the Caribbean. Let's go home, Slate. I'm tired. The bold venture's tired. It's all tired. All of it. Maybe something happened to Joe. Maybe somebody got to him, like the guy who tried to get to me. Yeah, maybe. That's why I want to go home. Come on, Slate. I'll buy you some gold-covered chocolates. Or maybe he's celebrating. Joe's a guy who likes to celebrate for any excuse at all. You're going to look for him, huh, Slate? Yeah. How'd you guess? I peeked through the hole in your head and saw the gold already folded in. <laughs> Hurry back, Slate. You lost, senor? We have many things in this place to make a man find himself. Joe Cowan, is he here? I have just made a pleasurable tour of inspection. Joe Cowan wasn't anywhere in it. Too bad for Joe. Look, I'm asking in a polite way, Pedro. Has Joe Cowan been here? See, si, see, si many choruses ago. It was on this one he left us. Did he tell you where he was going? See, si, to the bottom of the ocean sea. Did he tell you anything else? Only that he would come back for the girl who is dancing there. Oh, look at her, senor. And wherever you go, you will come back to. Yeah, I might at that. 
ask for Joe at Papa Gomez. Papa knows all the children of the barrio. Yeah. I'll put in a good word for you, Pedro. And for her, too. She needs it. You are Slate Shannon. Your name is whispered in the barrio often. By Joe Cowan? By him also. Well, then maybe he told you why he hasn't met me like he was supposed to. Why you not go ask him yourself in the place where he sleeps? Uh, that's what I've been yearning to do. For four hours now I've been yearning like that. Where does a man like Joe sleep? The latest pillow is in a yellow house on Bolivar Street, number eight. This thing of you and Joe, my blessings, child. Thanks, Papa. I may be able to use them. Joe! Joe, it's me! Slate Shannon, open up. Enter Slate Shannon. Who are you? Do as he say, Shannon. I got something that'll knock your eye out. This gun. Well, it's the curious buster with the diving bug. How was it being unconscious? Did you dream? Inside. I must say it, Shannon. Your banging made almost enough noise to awaken the dead, but not quite. What are you talking about? Observe, please, the dirty couch. Then observe slightly on top of it. He is definitely dead, Shannon. Yeah, mostly he doesn't breathe. You jealous, Shannon? Why'd you kill him? Once he was useful. Thus he lived long enough to tell us the position of the Hespides. Under duress, I assure you. And thus his usefulness expired. And thus he died. Meaning we're going diving, Shannon. Him, me, you, that dame, your equipment, your boat. Diving, splashing. Oh, I tell you, we'll have fun. What do you think of it, Shannon? Splashing too, huh? Well, the man's already said it. We'll have fun. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Feels good to have an old sea hand at your right hand, huh, Captain Shannon? Couldn't live without it. Hold the thought, kid, how you couldn't live without it. How you doing with the charts, Mr. Val? I tried to eat them like you told me, Slate, but... I don't know. I've lost my taste for old parchment. I'm just jaded, I guess. Sailor Duval of the Able Body. The gun I hold on you don't make good sauce, does it, Candy Mouth? Try me without it. A promise I make to myself. Hey, Filippo! You've been gazing into the sea spaces long enough. Come up with something. Wait! Wait! Portuguese key off Port Bow! Steady as she goes! You made it, Captain. Now find the teeniest island, and I'll bet I'll find you a reef to move my dreams to. Just like dead Joey said. Feel in your pockets, Danny boy, because you forgot something. Uh-uh. I got you, I got the charts, I got everything. but a diver. You broke Joe Cowan in two, remember? That makes this a twilight cruise. It's been fun, Danny boy, just like you said. I remembered, Captain. I brought a diver. Filippo, you won't send him down. He'd die before he found the gold. Oh, Filippo found time to cry on your shoulder about his lungs, huh? Yeah. Anyone else, it would have broken my heart. I'll give you someone else. Shannon. And Shannon dives. You're crazy. All I ever dove for was abalone off Santa Monica. And two-bit pieces off the shores of Monacora. That's why I got Filippo, to give you hints. Go hit the sack, Captain. Come daybreak, you'll need all your strength. Slate, I've been watching you. Mind if I watch from up close? Don't make me talk, sailor. 
I'm going to save up on my breath. You could do that better if you slept. <laughs> so they tell me. You'll die, Slate. They'll use you to bring up the gold. Then they'll let you die. The thought has occurred to me. Where are the playmates? They're asleep. Oh, don't you believe it, baby. Nobody sleeps on a night like this. Not you, not me, not them. Nobody. There must be a way. There must be. I've been looking for it in the water, sailor. In the bright lights on the backs of the phosphorescent fish. So far, they haven't spelled out a word. Try me, Slate. It's a word on my lips. Read it. Yeah. Just the word I was looking for. A very romantical picture you two make in the tropic moonlight. What I tell you, sailor? Nobody sleeps. You're wrong, Shannon. Why'd you do that? He wasn't even... Because I owed him one. Because he needs his sleep, candy mouth. Like I told him. I didn't think he'd need a gun butt to sing him a lullaby. I'll kill you. I could enjoy it from you. No? i just throw a blanket over him. I want him all tingly and refreshed in the morning. Blake the air hose so it won't kink, Danny. It's Blake. You check the air pump, the compressor? Ten times. I counted on my fingers. The lifting gear, secure? It's holding on for dear life. How about me, Danny boy? Want to check me? Filippo tells me you'll need a lifeline. I give it to you because Filippo tells me. I'll never forget you for little things like this, Filippo. The helmet and me already. Wait. Come back to me, Slate. Are you crazy? Where else have I got to come back to? Come on, Shannon. Stuff your head into the steel balloon. Anything for you, Danny boy. Let's check the intercom, shall we? Just for kicks. Hello? One, two, three, four. Hello, Shannon. Intercom okay. You are going over the side now. Okay, Danny. Shannon? Yeah, Filippo, who'd you expect? I give you your depth. Here comes 12 fathoms. Now... Thanks a lot. Can't we go any faster? As long as I'm doing this, I'd like to have a little thrill. Don't beg for it. It will come. You are safe at this speed, but no faster. What's my depth now? Here comes 14 fathoms. Now. How is it? Never had it better. Lots of light. Very blue. How's your air? Lovely. How's yours? The ship. Do you sight it? Nothing. All I see is what's in front of my faceplate. I'm going round and round, real slow. The blue light, pretty tropical plant. It's a world apart, Filippo. You don't know what you're missing. Hey, hey, hold me up, quick, hold me up. Trouble? Big trouble. A manta ray, a killer, it's coming for me. Hold me up, up. Shannon, if he's seen you, it's too late. Up, up. You have a knife, Shannon, use it, use it. It's you or me, killer. Okay, Shannon. Let's see how good you are against a man of rage. There he is, Filippo. Give me a hand with him. Be gentle with him, can't you? It is touching, Miss Duval, your concern for perhaps a dead man. But you are in the way. Yeah, let's get with that helmet. Let me help. As you wish it. Breathing. Slate. Slate, speak to me. Are you all right? <sighs> How'd you get inside this manta ray, sailor? So that blood that came to the top was the rays. I'm happy for you, Shannon. Take a small rest, then you will try the ocean again. Is it down there, Shannon? Good footing. Give me more line. I want plenty of slack in both my lines. You heard him. Give him line. Mr. Val. What do you want? Shut up. There's something ahead. Wait. What is it, Shannon? Shannon, what do you see? Can you hear me? Give me that phone. Slate. Slate, what's the matter? Hi, sailor. I found me a boat. I will take it. The phone, Mr. Val. It's the Hesperides, all right. There's the name. Very good, Shannon. Can you get on deck? Sure, she's lying on her side. 
Looks like the boat split in the middle, amigo. Half of it's gone. The gold was in the cabin. What of the gold? Well, now, take it easy, will you? Shannon, the gold! Shannon! You want gold, Filippo? I've got it. Put it on the platform, friend of mine, and send it up to me. Uh-uh. Do not be a fool. I can cut your airline. One in got at a time, Filippo, so I'll know I'll be alive for the next one. Shannon, I will cut the... Oh, you won't. Then you wouldn't know where your next ingot is coming from. All up the platform, amigo. He didn't do so good, did he, Filippo? Six lousy lumps of gold. You should have your lumps like that every day. Now, if I am correct, Shannon... You say we must return to Havana for more equipment. That's right. So, you two fellows drop us off at Havana, hire yourselves another boat, and go golding all by yourselves. Get her, comedian. Go wash your face, comedian. It's dirty. Come up forward, Shannon. I want to talk to you. Things. What we shall need to salvage the rest of that gold. Take the wheel, Danny. Right. First of all, we're going to need an awful lot of dynamite. Hi, Danny. Want to wash my face for me? Would you hold still? If you were gentle. Are you gentle, Danny? Want to try? Think of what the rest of our passengers would say. Yeah, they'd talk. If they could, they would. You kill me. That's not the idea. I'm talking about Shannon. Uh Uh-huh. Shannon will relieve Filippo at the wheel at four bells this morning. I'll wake Shannon. Stand at the wheel with him. Put my arms around him. Say something nice to him that'll make him warm. A knife in his back could put an end to it all. Maybe you can do the same to Filippo later. If you're anxious for me, Candy Mouth, why don't I do it while he's asleep? Take the chance if you want. But maybe Shannon won't sleep. You're an education, baby. Something a man needs to get ahead. Beautiful night, isn't it, Filippo? Mr. Duval, what are you doing here? Right now, admiring the way you handle the wheel. Get below. Wait, Mr. Shannon, it is his turn at the wheel. After all I've done for you, look what I brought you. What? Me and Slate's pea jacket. To keep you warm. Put on the jacket. Go ahead, put it on. Very well. Your sudden concern amazes me. And my arm around your shoulder. What's your reaction to that? Amazement. Filippo. Yes? Hold me. My dear. Hold me. Hold me. Ah, You set him up pretty, Candy Mouth. Hey, Hey, Candy Mouth, come back here. Okay, okay, I'll throw him in the ocean myself. Slate, are you up? Huh? What's the matter? Don't talk, just listen to me. Danny just stabbed Filippo. He thought it was you. Now let's get out of here, get back on deck. Hey, this is Filippo, you tricked me. There he is, by the wheel. Listen to me, sailor. I'll get you, both of you. Crawl forward along the starboard side, circle around and grab the wheel. But he's standing there, Slate. I'll draw him away from the wheel. When I yell, grab that wheel and spin it hard and open up the throttle. Hi, aye, aye, skipper. You looking for me, Danny? Yeah, I am. Come and get me. That's what I'm doing. You're shark bait, Shannon. Prove it to me. Yeah, I will. I work good with a knife, you'll see. Show me. Sailor! Where's your balance, kid? Shannon! So, you got no foundation. Sailor. You're my boy. I'll take the wheel now. Let's pull up to the curb for a minute. Later, sailor. When we get home. like that for. I'm trying to figure you, sailor. 
I'm trying to figure why you ran to the Cuban officials and told them where the Hespides was located. And why did you give them those six gold ingots? Five gold ingots. Oh, you held one back. Show it to me. Uh-uh. I put it in my hope chest. What else you got in your hope chest? One doily. Hmm, what kind of a hope chest is that? One doily and one gold ingot. It'll build. Come here, sailor. I did that even though you stole. I forgive you for it. Come here, Slate. I forgive you, too. For what? I looked in my hope chest a few minutes ago. All I've got is one doily. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.